So this week, I don't know what your phone was like, but my phone was blowing up with Malone and saying how she's a right winger and how she's an extremist. I mean, on one day, I should have snapped it. There was one day where it's like every single news agency, didn't matter if it was um, a print like New York Times, LA Times, uh, Chicago Tribune, whatever, everybody had articles about her. Now, she, if you're unfamiliar, she's going to be the new prime minister in Italy, the way it's all unfolding. And, and they're just like, you know, hard right. And, and they're just like, vilifying this lady. I'm like, anytime someone starts to be vilified like that, it's like, well, how do they define right wing? It's a good question, right? And so I just had to go, had to go look her up. I want to hear it from her. What do they see as so evil? Listen to this, listen to this videotape. This is about what we are doing here today. Why is the family an enemy? Why is the family so frightening? There is a single answer to all these questions. Because it defines us. Because it is our identity. Because everything that defines us is now an enemy to those who would like us to no longer have an identity and to simply be perfect consumer slaves. And so they attack national identity, they attack religious identity, they attack gender identity, they attack family identity. I can't define myself as Italian, Christian, woman, mother. No, I must be citizen X, gender X, parent one, parent two. I must be a number because when I am only a number, when I no longer have an identity or roots, then I will be the perfect slave at the mercy of financial speculators, the perfect consumer. That's the reason why. That's why we inspire so much fear. That's why this event inspires so much fear. Because we do not want to be numbers. We will defend the value of the human being. Every single human being. Because each of us has a unique genetic code that is unrepeatable. And like it or not, that is sacred. We will defend it. We will defend God, country, and family. Those things that disgust people so much, we will do it to defend our freedom. Because we will never be slaves and simple consumers at the mercy of financial speculators. That is our mission. That is why I came here today. Chesterton wrote more than a century ago. Let's see if I can find it. Fires will be kindled to testify that two and two make four. Swords will be drawn to prove that leaves are green in summer. That time has arrived. We are ready. Thank you. Wow. If you read through or if you listen to that carefully, what they're defining as right wing and so evil is God, country, family, personal identity. How many of you got a personal identity? Yeah, God's made you a, a man or a woman. He's put you in a certain place at a certain time in history. If we had time, we'd look in Acts chapter 17. It says, God providentially has placed you here in this time, in this place. And God raises up nations and removes nations. God's providentially moving in the backgrounds of all of these things for his glory and our good. It's just so funny as, as I was reading through these different articles about her and their attacks. It's like, oh no. What does this mean for science if, she's, if she ends up, you know, being the prime minister? How's that going to affect science? Well, the bottom line was is they're afraid that they're not, she's not going to fund climate change. Because after all, that is the new global religion of our day, that everything needs to move towards that. And as I was reading that, this article came up. Board of Governors from the Federal Reserve System. And if you read the last paragraph, it says six different institutions. I won't read them online. Well, maybe I will. Bank of America, Citigroup. Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, um, Wells Fargo, these six institutions are going to end up helping the government run a pilot um, uh, analysis over this next year for ESG scores and how they can help control everything that's going on in the years ahead so that way, that way we can save the world. Well, government matters. Leadership matters. Heart matters. There's only how many kingdoms? Two kingdoms.